Hey guys, um, I don't know how much the wind is going to have an effect on this video. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. But um, I've been, once again, slipping on my videos and I apologize. And I've had, you know, and I'm going to have to start coming out with creative ways to just start making videos. Like I'm just doing this one straight from my phone and I just said, how the heck with it. I got to update everybody. But I'm pretty sure everybody knows most of the news that I'm about to talk about that's going on. For instance, Buffalo acquiring Ben Bishop's rights. Okay, not Ben Bishop because he's been retired. And a seventh round pick from the Dallas Stars. Now, everybody was complaining what the heck kind of move was that for. Well, to be honest with you guys, it's so that we can meet up with the cap floor. You know, before the draft and before free agency. Okay, guys, there are mm, these ridiculous rules in the National Hockey League. But also... I, see now I felt I heard that there was gonna be a big announcement that day and I'm like is this the big announcement because it's not really that huge but later a little bit later on on Twitter it was announced that not only will Ryan Miller be inducted into the Buffalo Sabres Hall of Fame but his number 30 will be retired in the rafters and I gotta say guys as a Sabres fan that's well deserved watched get to watch him you know grow up from the time we drafted him in 1999 watching him play till 2014 in that ridiculous trade with Steve Ott where he got shipped to St. Louis. Still hurts. But um, his tenure with us, it's a memorable one. Also, not only to be, I, if I remember correctly, the most wins for a goalie in Buffalo Sabres history, but he's the most American winning goaltender in NHL history. And the fact that with us, in 2010, not only did he win a silver medal, being considered an American hero for Team USA and MVP, but also he won the Vesna Trophy that very same year. He was a name. He was an icon to a lot of guys who wanted to become goaltenders, you know, especially in Western New York. Um, he was a, he was very dedicated, especially to his craft and to the community. So Ryan Miller, as from one Sabres fan to one of the greatest Sabres goaltenders to ever put on the pads and go between the pipes, thank you for everything. And it's well-deserved for you and your family. I've seen you in that Sabres jersey between the pipes so many times, and I saw you play against us as a Canuck and as a Duck. Funny how that rhymes. But anyways, guys... Also, um, everybody heard about Kim Pagula being and put in intensive care. Um, due to failing health issues, I don't really know all the details, so I don't want to be making shit, like, why not make it shit up or, or miss saying something. But all my thoughts and prayers go out to the Pagula family and to Kim Pagula. We hope everything gets better from here on out. And furthermore, I'm going to be doing a separate video on the Rochester Americans' uh, nice end towards their season, making the playoffs and having their playoff run. You all want to go into details about that and some of the players that are up and coming from the, the Rochester Americans. Um, also, I got to get up, also I got to get moving with the other videos that I got planned. But guys, I'll be dead honest with you. I have never thought or never counted on being happy again, like personally, um, especially with this new, you know, with the girl that I've got in my life right now. You know, I never really counted on my life being this so fantastic, you know, but she did remind me a few times, you know, that I should be making videos here and she goes, she supports the channel and she supports me. So, you know, to all you guys, you know, thank you for sticking around because I know there's probably a lot more better content out there, especially with you, Wayne, at Rome Hockey. Uh, two, goalies with, two goalies with one mic with uh, Dwayne. You know, I'd like to give a shout out to those guys. And I also just want to give a shout out to the Buffalo Sabres organization for, you know, basically getting back 
everything on the right, I believe in the right direction when it comes to the team. Um, also with the community dealing with all those people getting shot and killed at that tops on Jefferson, um, it was such a shocker and, it, and it's so terrible. I'll go into a different, a uh, bigger video and more detail about that maybe, you know, but I don't like to get political on my channel. But in all honesty, guys, a lot of stuff's been happening, you know, and a lot of stuff's going to continue to happen. And I'm glad to be a part of this city, and I'm glad to be a part of my favorite hockey team in the world. You know, but right now, I've been, I'm at work right now, so it's a scorcher inside the building, and it's a scorcher outside, so, you know, it's kind of tough, but... I'm just proud to be, you know, doing what I do, and I love what I do. You know, even though people have been calling me out, saying I've been late, I've been, you know, far behind. I get that, guys. But sometimes it's hard for me to put all the words together, you know, because I want to say things right. I don't want to misconstrue, like, miss say something where somebody gets upset. But I try to keep a balance to keep everybody smiling and everybody happy. I don't, like being choosing one side saying I prefer this group over that group or something like that everybody's the same we're all human beings guys but um that's it for this video hit like if you like it subscribe to my channel and let all the good people of Buffalo know Buffalo strong guys be strong out there be safe and there's the bell I'll take care you know, you guys take care and be safe.